Hey guys, this is the Pugsley Crew Views, and today we are watching The Wizard. And I the am wizard. joined with The Wizard. Yep, that classic film about video games. Uh, today I am joined by Earfold. Uh, hello, Earfold, aka Evil Ted. And Jasm. Who would like to emphasize that classic is surrounded by many quotation marks. At least 50. <laughs> many quotation marks. Bless his cotton socks. Also, Great. by the way, I'm Peds, just so you all know. Hi, so... Peds. <laughs> I'll count us down. Three, two, one, go. When And then you click play on go. So On three, go. Two, one, go. Oh, great, a star field, and... Ah, uh, this is... They were using this for a while, right? It took them a while to update this. I do like the music in the background. It's not the usual universal thing. It, we're just going straight into the soundtrack. Very late 80s. Actually, yeah, you, you used to hear the universal jingle, right? You hear that? When you see that, even. Mm. Uh, you used to hear the universal jingle when you hear the universal jingle. Like, yeah, so. you can tell this is very different from Mortal Kombat, which we just got finished watching last week. <laughs> That started off right away shouting, this is Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Everyone here knows that this is a video game movie, and what are we watching? A mirage and a little kid's head floating <laughs> in the background, like some kind of chess, like, you know, it's like a tiny little chess pawn piece in the background, and there's a... What the hell is this? Where's the video games? <laughs> the videos will that? come, young man. The video games will come. We were spoiled with Mortal Kombat, because <laughs> right away you get the theme, you get the logo, you get immediate backstory, you get the villain making goofy faces. We, we took that for granted. Right? Those goofy faces were good. We can't even see this guy's face. <laughs> well, you can! It's just... I don't know, I can't describe it, it's just a blob. <laughs> a blob. <laughs> a blob oh, with now you can bits. see that he's carrying something, and can you imagine the mood of the cinema right now? Oh my really god, excited. what have you decided to, to watch game today? Movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to think if you see Desperado, he's carrying like the machine gun guitar case. <laughs> or he's, he's carrying the briefcase from Pulp Fiction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the little bug is not going to show us what's in it. The thing is, no. I've seen this film, but it was many years ago. Is, is this the kid that's the wizard? And in that box, is it his power glove? <laughs> Well, no, no, the kid in the power glove is someone else, isn't it? I don't fucking know, I can't remember. Well, we find out soon. Uh, I, I will say, I don't remember much of this movie, but I do remember this kid. Look at him, he's got the Clint Eastwood stare. <laughs> yeah. I stare, think it's just yeah. the sun is in his eyes, man. <laughs> <laughs> that is the Clint Eastwood stare, right? Yeah, but Clint Eastwood so does that stare, whatever, whatever the weather. This guy oh, wait clearly a got the sun in his eyes. I think he is definitively the wizard. This isn't like the Phantom Menace, where it's like, who is? Yeah, they chuck oh, him in the plane Anakin. and he has to race on the plane. <laughs> oh, that's me, man. Is so everyone going to call him Annie? Oh. Annie? <laughs> well, where did you learn to fly? <laughs> now that's Pod Racing. <laughs> oh, God, let's not continue that. <laughs> Phantom Menace. Why is he sitting like that? There we go, first of many. California. Uh, I really hope he didn't get picked on at school for that. Like he got, like, oh, you mean like thing. you mentioned it just now with the fat, uh, fat Menace? Didn't the kid who played Anakin never act again because of that film? Oh, bless him, yeah. He had a pretty rough answer to that. You know, the original was... version of The Wizard was um, set with a kid that wanted to go to Kentucky and. <laughs> Kentucky. <laughs> Not quite the same. Uh, well, it, well, the end of the movie, the original ending, was they go to KFC and the kid's happy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all he ever wanted. And they smile for the camera. some fried chicken. <laughs> so, in that? other words, they went all the way to Kentucky to have some fried chicken instead of going to the local KFC. <laughs> well, that's what, what they that? told what him. What a wasted journey! The emotional <laughs> core, he wanted that authenticity. <laughs> Wait, this is a non-Nintendo product in the shot. They can't have that. Hmm. 
Yeah, I've got the right idea. Like, what did they say? I don't care. I want to see video games. That is the, yeah. That's the problem with something like this because you you need you need a plot. You, you need build up, but at the end of the day, you are here for the game. I mean, it's, it's like with a monster movie, right? Like you'd have to see the monster, but it can't just be ninety minutes of the monster. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Uh, I'll I'll try to get invested in this plot, but I can't promise anything. <laughs> You'll do your best, will you? <laughs> Might be tough. It's bit... monuments. That's a bit rich, isn't it? Uh -huh. It's more like a pile. It's about. Uh, I'll tread carefully here, but they're kind of going for a strange. Maybe autism, he has, something like that. Oh, so... no, I think the plot is that he is autistic. But do, do they ever explicitly say it, or do they imply it? Or... So I, I don't it's all implications. Yeah, they don't do. mention it. But they do say that they want to put him in an institution, which is incredibly, <laughs> you know, no. Yeah, from what I, I haven't seen this movie before, so I know it has an unflattering view of mental health services. I think the problem right, with that is that back then, uh, mental health issues were a lot more frowned upon than they are nowadays. You know, you could have something quite minor, well, I say minor, but you know what I mean, a, a, a less serious mental health condition. Oh, yeah. Um, Sure. The criticisms aimed at you. Nowadays, it's you know a lot better for that sort of thing. It's amazing how quickly that's changed. Mm. I, I just wanted to say, um, those are some pretty burnt, steamed clams. Poor <laughs> <laughs> sods, they were prepared for an unforgettable luncheon. <laughs> that's well, it's not unforgettable. <laughs> that's a uh, flint water right there. The flint water crisis. Uh, That's the water coming out the tap. So of course we got Fred Savage here, right? Who is Oh Fred uh, Savage, yeah. He's one of those child actors. He talks like an adult, right? Like people always I always find that creepy him. in movies when kids talk like they're adults. Yeah, he's he's like negotiating. Like I mean it's kind of a kid uh being angry, but yeah, remarkably articulate, isn't it? <laughs> I know what you mean. There's something weird about it, isn't there? So. Enjoy your casserole. I always appreciate when movies write kids as kids, like they get that right. It's very rarely that they do that. You ever seen Where the World Fins Are? Nope. I think oh, that, that film is yeah. really, That kid is not is a kid, like flaws at all. I don't think he liked his own cooking. No. <laughs> Didn't he leave about 20 minutes before him, and yet they're right behind each other? Hmm. Does everyone in this movie wear flannel shirts? <laughs> Even the flannels wear flannel shirts, man. <laughs> it looks like it was filmed yesterday. This was so. This was eighty nine, wasn't it? So eighty nine, yeah. Yeah, like the the end of the eighties, but like this was before Jasmine was born. <laughs> it's before I was born. I was gonna say you as well, bro. Right? Was... Damn it! <laughs> 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 Fuck you guys. <laughs> We're not trying to say you're old, but you well, give I mean, Jawa a run for his money. Hey, you poor Jawa alone. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I take that back. Hold, hold on. <laughs> How much of winner ones do we need to be told to leave Jawa? Oh, yeah, this is quite quiet. We're supposed to be watching this movie. Well, what's your earlier point? It's pretty heavy, isn't it? For... Yeah. Which I think in a way is admirable, but is this the right place for this? What kind of domestic issues? Uh... Supposed to stand up when you play darts, and also, you know, aim for the dartboard. Wait, wait, no, hold on. What was he? he? He's he's throwing her at the map. He is. Well, he's wistfully. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Once that color fell on there. Okay, I think the idea was that's a game that American kids play. They throw a dartboard at a map and try to name the state. <laughs> but. If you don't know that, it sounds like he's trying to decide where he's going to go. Uh, uh, in my head, he's playing like reverse missile command. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to, to me, it would come across as he's throwing it at the map and he's like, oh, where should I go? Oh, I'll go this place. 
Well, if he wanted well, to go right. to California, he didn't need a dartboard to decide that. Well, no, you, you could just, no, just like, kid. I'm going to go to any random place, let's just throw a dart on a map. No, I don't want to go out. Let's throw another dart on a map. Well, to be honest, one of those choices was Nebraska. That would be the... Okay. I'm not the first one to point this out about this, but where's the security? <laughs> Like, he, he just went in for the open gate and, <laughs> and struggled to Dude, Take a close look at his hat them. if there's another close up. Doesn't it look like it says weeds? Uh, uh, oh no. <laughs> I weeds think it's landscaping. supposed to say woods. Yeah. Oh, right. But, it looks like weeds landscaping. Weeds landscaping. Uh, <laughs> the, the, 420. The most... But yeah, I think it is woods. Oh, all right. Weed landscape. It's Jimmy. <laughs> hey guys, we only work with weed. <laughs> <laughs> does he um? I, does he say he doesn't say much of anything aside from that, right? Isn't this a kidnapping? <laughs> Maybe it's a um, are we watching a kid get abducted? If a kid kidnaps a kid, does that cancel out? Is that how that works? Is, is that like cannibalism? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was getting at. All right, look, look. If someone says, do you like chocolate, and tells you to get into a van, don't, right? This is a PSA. Isn't that Wait, a guy like his half-brother or something they said just now? I, I think I, so, yeah. I, there's a lot of weird strange danger in this, isn't there? Because this is a kids empowerment movie, right? This is like okay, and this is this is aimed at kids. They're going to be watching this, and this movie's telling them, "Hey, do you want to go on an adventure? <laughs> Should we do like a bad lesson count? Like every time they t teach like a bad lesson to impressionable kids watching." Mm. It's one so far. Well, but handicapped. Two. Okay, look. Well, no, there's two. Like uh, break into a uh, mental institute if your brother's there. Hmm. I don't think I've heard the term handicapped for a very long time. I think even when this movie came out, it's considered quite a rude word to describe someone with. Isn't it weird we're talking about this in a film where it's like, guys, Mario Freeze coming out? <laughs> it's such a weird... Oh, it's, it's so strange. This, this, this is the payment that you have to do. This is... <laughs> this is the penance. <laughs> Look at the way it's admirable. So I, I remember reading an interview with the director a long time ago, and he was like, he wasn't into games. Um, he wasn't even into games, yeah. <laughs> but no, but he, he like that's why he wants to do. He was like, no, I can make this interest for people who aren't into games. I, uh, he didn't yeah. succeed. Yeah, yeah, no, it's probably not. But <laughs> I mean, there's a there's genuinely attempts at drama here. It's... I, I'll, I will I will admire that they. Trying to be dramatic, but the thing is, you, you watch this, you imagine them being like a seven-year-old or something, right? And you mm. go and see this because you see like loads of Nintendo characters on the cover. You hear hints, maybe the new Mario games in it, and <laughs> you get kind of. I can imagine a lot of people walked out of the theater by this point. A lot of the kids, the adults, are probably thinking, "Oh, look, it's another crappy film that I've watched about a million times over." Yeah. <laughs> Didn't they? At least in America, I think there was like a Nintendo Power thing, like a leaflet you got like, if you went to see this. So like, maybe the kids are just reading that during this moment. <laughs> yeah, just isn't read this, the Nintendo isn't this Power. Isn't this the plot to film, It's so. a Mad Mad World? I'm seeing <laughs> yeah, A little bit, actually. Yeah, like when, when they're all chasing off. Well, in that, they're chasing after Fortune, right? And now Isn't they're the chasing ch after a California kid. Well, okay, so. From what I understand, like the guy who was just saying don't get in my way, like he's he's hired to look after missing kids, right? Yeah, and he won't get the money if his dad gets him first. So, so he, one he... one second, Christian Slater is a young guy whose half brother is a gaming genius. He then grows up to be a top of the range hacker. Huh. I'm assuming it's the same person see in each pro in the film and in um, that TV show I can't remember the name of. Dude, you don't have any napkins back there. How are you supposed to wipe his face? Oh, is it family something Fred Savage was in? Hmm. 
Yeah. Where yeah. is he nowadays? He's, he's... Oh, look, guys, they have ice. <laughs> <laughs> they should put two signs up there. Ice, ice, baby. Oh, that would have been, yeah, that would have still been. That would have been quite. They put a pink glass on it, and then people would be really confused because they're, they're saying it's ice or ice. Oh, uh, if you uh, giving me the worst idea, we should do the uh, Vanilla Ice movie. No, let's not. Let's not. <laughs> let's not. No. I'm going to draw the line somewhere. Oh, I just I just noticed what... I just agree with Jasm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What could it ice? <laughs> yeah, we do that film. Because well, right. then we could say, if you've got your own copy of the film, and then we all just snigger endlessly. Because <laughs> who the fuck has a copy of Colors Ice in there? You have a Lord 2018. Watch where you're going, kids. This is. Get okay. run over. So, this is the weirdest thing. This has got like domestic issues. This has got sort of uh, kids. None of them around. are dealt with. They just play games eventually. Like, it's, a, it's a road trip movie as well, isn't it? It's, um... It is, yeah, it's but they, they don't drink anything, movie. they don't go to the toilet. By now, they'd be dead. Well, the thing is, this is. Um... I can see the appeal of this, because this is empowering. No, kid, of course it can't be Wonderful Valley or Happy Valley. Goblin Valley. I thought, I thought that's a Gobi Valley. Be lucky you're not in Assfuck Valley. <laughs> Ax, well, it's an Axe Murderer's Valley. Mm. <laughs> Probably not far enough. But yeah, I, I think this is kind of empowering for kids, right? Like, uh, oh, the adults are done, the kids can take care of themselves. Yeah, the kids are looking after themselves, they're having a nice adventure. All I you mean, need to I do can... is get into the back of a white van. Uh, I'm pretty, like I'm convinced Fred Savage is like uh, a third. Oh, here it is. Uh, here it is. So a video game. I wonder what they're playing. Dino yes. Clean? No. Yeah, wait, yeah. What the hell is Dino Clean? <laughs> so Final weird. fight. I don't know. Uh, okay, so his first game. Okay, this is the end introduction. Why is he tapping buttons? There's nothing to do. Is it double dragon? Uh, what game was he playing? My brain isn't as good as yours for remembering retro stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's Double Dragon. I thought so. So it's the NES game, but he's playing it on like the Play Choice 10, the arcade version of the NES. Uh, which is a bit reductive when you think about it, because there is an arcade version of Double Dragon. But you're playing like watered down NES version of it. Yeah. And the kids that watch this, they probably know what the arcade version looks like. Yeah. Okay, so I know we said we're going to do a count for something else, but we could we could do a goof count, right? Because no, he didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> that was like two I minutes, play. bruh. No. Oh, the only game they showed was the intro as well. Yeah. Um, I don't like that that Mida was reading the magazine that says is there sex after magazine uh, after marriage on it. Uh. She's like 14 or something. <laughs> you don't want to get into Cosmopolitan these days, there. Bottom of the valve clickbait. Yes, I'm always reading Cosmopolitan. <laughs> I'm, I'm a 14 year old red headed girl. I, I love that dress, it's so mumsy. Mumsy. <laughs> Very floral, quite, I know that much. It's quite daughter, isn't it? Yeah. Very uh, Cass Kidston. Yeah, but to be fair, it was the 80s, and things were different back then. There was... I don't know... I wouldn't know. I wasn't alive for the 80s. God Pets. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. Boo would have been better. Jesus, hey, what the? <laughs> That's not okay. Um, he hey, Jasm, Jasm. Yeah. Have you ever waxed any tails lately? You, you know, I haven't got round to it lately. I have masked the buttons on the intro of Double Dragon where you can't play anything though. Like, and you got fifty thousand. <laughs> Who gives a shit about high scores, really? I, I, it... To be fair, that's realistic. Another platforming and double dragons must be bullshit. So yeah, 
most people would uh, follow the river on that. Okay, here we go. It's a bit of extended. Uh... Yeah, I'm just focusing on the gameplay. It's Actual like watching video Twitch games! Stream. You get to see all of five seconds! How long did that take? 18 minutes? 19 minutes? Oh, he's fighting the Abobos. I find the Bobos really weird in the NES games. They look like they got rock heads. Hmm. They look like boulders, not faces. Like a Geodude stuck to a really big it's... guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kind of is, actually. Yeah, I can see that. They look more like Goombas than the Goombas in the Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> That's the most true statement I've heard in God knows how long that rings so true. Uh... In America, probably. I'm guessing the desert, to be fair. Hmm. I'm guessing this film has no plot momentum. It's got a plot. Kid it's, wants to play it's games. It's got momentum right now. Look kid how fast they're going. Kid plays kids. <laughs> you, 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 I, I can't get over how sweaty that guy's face is. Almost as sweaty as the naked naked men in Mortal Kombat last week. <laughs> uh, like, that's a pretty hard wink, hard wink. wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Wait, last have you, week. Have you watched that yet? It, as far as uh, Pugsley viewer film. Yeah, we watched yes, that last yes, week. This is episode remember. three. Last week, we watched Mortal Kombat, and that was episode two. Okay, okay, we did great. That was a full week else. ago. Next time on Counting with Jasm, <laughs> we teach Jasm the number four. That's why we do the Sesame Street, so. <laughs> it's for my benefit. Ninja Gaiden. Ninja yes, he Gaiden. Has. He's taken two. There's two missing bits on his health bar. Does this count as a bad lesson? Like, you can make money on the road by beating people at video games? Usually. you got to remember, they spent like $3 on that arcade game already. Hmm. If they just stopped playing every single arcade game, they'd have enough to go to Utah, even. Hmm. Dude, he's playing a game. <laughs> That's so assholey. Uh, he's still doing pretty well in the background, if you could look at it. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even need to see the screen, and he's kicking ass. He's, uh, he's actually a pinball wizard. He's blind. He's still blind. I, I, Nintendo logo there. I'm pretty sure it's the first time we've... Oh, it might have been on the Play Choice 10, but... I think I might have say that. I remember reading that. I don't think they ever say Nintendo explicitly in this. They do. They go, hey, it's time to play some Nintendo. Oh, I can't wait for that. Happen. I don't think they say that. <laughs> I was thinking of basketball. Oh, look, 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 it says Nin in the background. That's close enough. Hmm. Isn't the it's... character in Earthbound the very first one called Ninten? Ninten, yeah. Uh, that's the mother one. Yeah. Earthbound Beginnings. That's yeah. The one, yeah. Uh, mother one or Earthbound one. That's more than zero. Right, who cares? We've got this really good <laughs> film right now. The Boo Depot. Boos are in a Nintendo game. Maybe there are ghosts in there. Mm. Oh my god, <laughs> they're going to break oh the weed van. Oh my god, man, really? <laughs> Have you ever done that to an actual tire? No. Yeah, that's more like it. They kind of explode. <laughs> what? What is this based on? What was his inclination? Like, oh, these guys who I'm working for to get <gasps> Oh, this is a swear word. Oh, God. This is such a adults acting like kids, kids acting like adults film, isn't it? Oh, look at this, it's embarrassing. <laughs> This is a man of presumable, reasonable mental state. Isn't it interesting how the kids are acting more like adults than the adults are? 
look at this. Is... All right, if someone went up to your car and started bashing the hell out of it, would you tell them that they have no class? Is that the first thing that would come to mind? Oh, whatever great that guy's line, name is. Wendell. Great lines, Wendell. <laughs> yeah. They need to end the scene somewhere. Off as ever. Hmm. I wonder check if they can shift any of them. And check out that other cow. <laughs> hmm. Hello. I'm <laughs> Betty the Bull, even though I'm a cow. <laughs> Betty the Bull. <laughs> yes. No, I, I don't actually remember what her name was. Did they actually say her name? Cow? Uh, the no, uh, no, the other cow. The the, the, oh, the cow. cow. <laughs> the cow oh, with ginger hair. Her name was um Zoe. I think he, Zoe. I think she was the bloke from down the road. Alright. <laughs> Matt will understand that one. Yeah, like the budgeting. Well, the adults we just saw were acting like kids fighting on tricycles, and these kids are bloody budgeting. Um, look at their expenses. I know he's going to take. They're going to the do taxes now. I like the crazy music that they're playing right yeah, now. Yeah, that, that's Haley. Right. Well, adults are like grabbing kids violently and trying to. What what's going to on? Mug them. Yeah, they're, All right, they're so they're in... kidnapping and doing pretty horrible things to these kids and check out this jaunty music. Hey, but hey, this is so oh, goofy. That's so totally this I think that's one of those things like if you're a kid you're like aha, yeah, but as an adult it's, it's like, horrifying. Wait, they robbed them. Yeah, they robbed them. Holy shit. They robbed them of the twenty odd dollars. And their innocence. The adults are oh, I don't think they robbed them of their innocence. <laughs> well, they cut that part out. That's in the R eighty version. God, the adults are possibly awful in this, aren't they? I don't know anything about cars. What's a white wall? Hey, look, he's playing on a NES. Oh, yeah, what games he playing? Fucking NES. Okay, I might be looking, but I don't think the light is on on that. I hate that in adverts and TV shows, like, oh, and you're like, the fucking pad isn't on, the console yeah. isn't on, get a fucking there's no, grip. There's no cart in the Game Boy, the screen's not on, it sounds like an Atari 2600. It's not even there. hooked like, up, no. Oh, is it not? <laughs> oh, that's bad. I know you too. Why are you tapping the pad like that? This is not a game you play. Oh my god, it's Super Mario Brothers 2! Well, they cut away from it before I could tell what level they were in. They were uh, in... Like two twos, maybe? It was no, I think they are yeah. in 7, 6. Hmm. Pads, there's only three yeah, levels. I believe you Sorry, pads. they were in 4, 4. There's only three levels per world in Mario 2, you should know this. Anyone listening to this will realise that I said 4, 4 when I saw the 4 by 4. Uh, great joke. <laughs> it wasn't a joke, it was just a really lazy, lazy, lazy way to pick a level. Yeah. Kids that age shouldn't be talking about what's in little boy's shorts. Yeah, like they're all good, like the way like adults do, trying to negotiate someone. What is her problem anyway? Why is she bossing them around? She doesn't know him for shit. I will say, he's a good natural actor, isn't he? Uh, yeah, I can't he... fault the acting. The riding could do with a bit of work, though. <laughs> Did that old say that's far out in the 80s? Peds, can you answer that? <laughs> Did, like, middle-aged businessmen say far out, radical, bodacious? Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. 
Oh, the adults. Are they they shit. cut out the video game? <laughs> Actually, yeah. They need to see the unrated version because they will play Mortal Kombat. No, uh, there they played the Sega Master System game. They're like, shit, shit, now we can't have that. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what we're. Well, they were playing a NES game in an arcade box earlier, so of course it would be the Master System. They were like, oh, we showed Ninja Guy. What else can we show? What about Shinobi? Wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hear this Alex the Kid game is all the riot. <laughs> who's, who, who's Alex the Kid? No, it's Alex, Alex the Kid. kid. Everyone calls yeah. him Alex the Kid, though. You ever notice that? Yes, no, Alex you Kid. You do. No, it's one of those weird misconceptions that you yes. see. Oh, actually, no, I have heard someone else say Alex the Kid. Yeah. Wow, how awesome. bitchy can you be? I don't have room for any more friends. Well, she's clearly not on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, as an adult, there are just so many things that alarm you watching this. It's like, like this this girl who just travels by her own, like kids unsupervised by adults. <laughs> Assault. <laughs> you know, so. Um, I think that was supposed to be funny. <laughs> that sounded like a proper. <laughs> she walloped him good. Oh, well, did seem like she knocked him out. So, oh, which no, has got the most gag. wooden acting in this in the, the films? This or last week's film, Mortal Kombat? I, uh, as far as female leads go, this girl, this uh, little actress, is better than the Sonya Blade. She, um, she's, she would, she kicks more ass than Sonya Blade did yeah, in that. Pretty much. I'm pretty sure she doesn't like get kidnapped in the most embarrassing way possible. No, she just got attacked and had a cash stolen off her by some hillbilly. Hmm. That's the cutest skull I've ever seen on the front of that bike. I have a, you know, I hear of like modern biker gangs like this that actually like look after kids who like have been abused and things like that. So, yeah, yeah and, you know, uh, yeah, totally. That's what punks are about. They're about looking after each other and being nice. It, it's quite sweet, yeah. If that's what they're going for here, sure. I mean, it's it's still like holy shit. They're going with adults, stranger danger, alarms go off everywhere, but. Ah, it's America. Lost. Nothing bad happens, eh, man? <laughs> what does that say? Reno, Reno or butter? Reno no. or bust. I like that, actually. That's quite funny. It's a funny little mm. slang gag. I haven't really I caught up yet. I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. Oh, <laughs> Reno or bust? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's, that's funny. That's, that's, that's really funny. Yeah, that's I funnier like than that anything Johnny Cage says. <laughs> it's got actual it's also politer, <laughs> more polite, whatever. Well, it's a good guy because they're trying to negotiate while the hitchhiker's in a position where they can't negotiate. Who was he talking to? Good point. Yeah, this movie's kind of flat, really, isn't it? It's. I think the music's trying to get us into it. Like, it's trying to say, hey. There's action happening, but there's no action on screen. There's like a man that's grabbed his kid's arm that's Look at that. and laughing. What? Half the people in this movie should have been arrested by that. What the hell? There's so much that's in this movie. No, that's not the. Uh, I would have run Oh my away god, it would have been fucking better if they just had a map zooming across <laughs> Indiana style. Done. 30 seconds. That's pretty fucking cool, shit. though. That spider car. I yeah, I want a spider car. <laughs> Is that the car that uh, Spider-Man drives? <laughs> nah, Spider-Woman. Peter Parker. Ah, right, yeah. Peter Parker. It'd be too obvious. <laughs> He's not rich enough. Like, Batman's really rich. He can afford to be conspicuous. Uncle Ben didn't leave him too much of an inheritance. Oh, is this... I'll be sensitive, please, movie. Oh, no, don't let this be... It's funny because they're foreign. They're not they're foreign. foreign. They're, they're Native, Native Americans. Americans. No, but like, if anything, the whiteies are foreign. Yeah, I'm white, by the way. <laughs> oh, check was, that out. That's what that was played as, though, wasn't it? Like, oh, they're weird. Oh my god, it's a, it's a game. Yeah, F1 Dream. 
Wait, hold on. I don't recognize what that is. That's um, it's like the uh, Chinese knockoff version of Outrun. Oh. Cut <laughs> weenie. <laughs> they can't show Outrun, though. That's so, so you go. No, but yeah, that's what that scene played as, right? Like, oh, they d they don't speak their turn. Aha, like the. Mm. Here we go. Oh, he wants to marry Lucas. <laughs> oh, that is the best night. Oh, that was beautiful. For those not watching, like they say, where might we find this Lucas? And it just cuts to Lucas with shades. Just those looking... are the coolest shades I've ever seen. J just the most... head. Oh, oh no. that was glorious. It's also quaint, isn't it? Mm. Like kids sort of intimidate each other with their Nintendo game knowledge. Oh, I can't see what they are. Can't make those labels out at that distance. <laughs> He's got his name on it. Oh. There it what is. What a piece guys. of shit. It's the power club. Okay, credit where credit's due. They've got like the sensor bar weird thing set up. They got that right. Like you had to put that around the two. Really. <laughs> Says on it, power glove. Let it fucking read. Was that the close encounters of the third kind? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's kind of half funny. The power glove does not do that. Well, you know uh, what? This is pretty rad. I'm, I'm so glad. Get it? Rad I'm, racer. I'm glad artistic intent took control here. Like mm. this was clearly something wanted by the, you know, the writers, the creative people. This They've clearly plugged that into Player Two, as you, as you could see, there's two things in there. And hmm. Player One is in the background playing on a pad off cam. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize this was this early on in the film. This is, uh, I thought this was a later scene. Here we no, go. No, I'm pretty there sure that go. he well, goes wait, up against him quiet, in the quiet, later, quiet. Like, later part of the film as well. I'm sure quiet, they become right. Here it is. Quiet, pets. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to interrupt because you just have to give yeah. that line credit. That is the best line in this entire film. Let's go, uh, no, actually, uh, uh, Fred Savage, you need to keep your power gloves off. Eh? Like, that's a bit of a weird mm. put your arm around it. Like, where did that come from as well? Ugh. They left because the power glove was too bad for them. It's Johnny Cage, isn't it? <laughs> it's the prequel. Ugh, that was embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. I think you got a thing for the redhead girl. It's like, hey, I'm going to the power thing too. <laughs> Give uh, <her> kiss. <laughs> and he's, she's like, fuck off, you dweeb. And then walked off. Fuck off, yeah. <laughs> I'd love to hear one of the kids say that. <laughs> well, fuck off, you dweeb. <laughs> this is such Finn Potter. Like, these two are going along on the. Like, Competing with the guy who's trying to get their kid back for money. Mm. It's, I mean, it's, it's so way for fun. Would this movie be as interesting if it was just those two going after it and there's no com competition? They need some kind of conflict to get this gate, uh, movie it's, for like an hour and 40 minutes. They do, but they need to bear than this. <laughs> Oh, sorry. It's interesting Make angles noise. take, like, have multiple plots going on. I mean, it's not good angle. It's not working, but... <laughs> uh, I don't have the plot straight yet. Plot is simple. People escape. People catch up with each other. People play games. 
World explodes. Spoilers. World explodes. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just said California was for though. Ah, uh, California. That's Jimmy's friend. You can't do that. Yeah, I know. Maybe. Uh... Who's Jimmy? I thought it was Bimmy. Bimmy <laughs> and Jimmy Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Double Dragon 3 came out by this point. I don't know if we can make that joke yet. It was Double Dragon right, 3. I take that joke back. <laughs> Might have that, I'm not sure. 89. You know what? I agree with that guy. I'm tired too. Yeah, I'm just about to be the kid watching this. Like, what watching two out? grown men bed together. Yeah, but they see yeah, children's right. innocent minds wouldn't think anything or other. Oh, why aren't they using bunk beds? <laughs> They'd have so much room for activities. Like playing on the Nintendo. <laughs> what games are you going to play this time? I wonder how many NES is we used in the makeup of us. One. The same yeah, NES each just, time. Just keep cards that around. <laughs> now the Nintendo to... Entertainment System. Oh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Isn't the first one? The one with the... Uh... I think so, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, I love this game and hated it at the same time. It's got a great soundtrack. I stayed up on my playing that. <laughs> a little swearing, this, isn't there? <laughs> Mega turtle. I mean, that's that's always certainly not a fan, is it? It's very fidgety playing that with the controller. Hmm. It's like a young child would do, but we've already stated play Rocket about 19 <laughs> times that children, the adults are acting more like little children, whereas the little children are like grown adults. Hmm. Oh, Bimmy's gone. Well, since we've seen them, I, I've lost track. Like, where, where were they? Oh, let be. Jesus, he, he, wow! <laughs> Surf, Dude, it's... just get him some Legos. We say Lego here. Jesus Christ, Freddy, Fred Savage! No, wow! He's like seven. Oh my God, this is the worst kid ever. Give him a... He's like got no. <laughs> Has he never seen a kid play with Legos? It's fun. We let say him. Lego here. He's like, a, he's like a sports parent. You, you know, like the sports parents that just like push their yeah. kids. Yeah, like, soccer, soccer moms. moms. Your soccer mom, yeah, yeah, or like the dad equivalent. Yeah, but, you know, soccer mom is you, the term I know. Sure, yeah, but like... What? I don't know, soccer dad just doesn't sound right. How much popcorn did they eat? <laughs> is that branded popcorn? Is that, is that product placement? I mean, they're upside down, so I don't know if it is. Ah, uh, I can't read it. Yeah, probably isn't them. What popcorn brands are there anyway? <laughs> oh man, that's the mumsiest bag I've ever seen. <laughs> She's acting like a bit of a mum as well. Everyone's pretty emotionally uh, fragile in this, aren't they? Mm. Well, they've got to have a lot of tension to carry this movie. They do, but it needs to be earned. <laughs> <That's> bloody... <laughs> See what they should do? 
is segue into like a 2D side scrolling game and have <laughs> like a car chasing them in that. It's turned into pitfall. <laughs> oh, there's there's too much like older people like adults, young adults like grabbing kids. It's it's really unpleasant. <laughs> They're taking this a lot more seriously than that scene with the cows that they were chased by adults, and that was like really goofy. That's true, actually. Yeah, where's the goofy music here? <laughs> Give me hijinks tune so I can not take this seriously. Jesus Christ, this is so. Is this were Nintendo happy with this for like a product placement? Like, I think they I were. Think they Nintendo were probably showing watching it. They were the Nintendo watching probably thought this is a good film. The reason why it's a good film is because it goes to show that bigger you get, the bigger dick you become. So if you always stay a child, you can play games and have fun. <laughs> I, I, I How's guess... that for a positive spin? <laughs> is that how the Nintendo executives rationalize that in their heads when they watch this? There's more blood in this film than there was in Mar Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it's only a nosebleed, and Sa uh, Shang Tsung's lip, uh, there was more blood from the nose than it was from his no, lip. No, 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 he only had blood on his, like, like lower lip, yeah. Uh, no, uh, yeah. if I was right, the yeah, wizard has right. more blood than Mortal right. right. Kombat. You know, that's actually a really bad idea, doing that when you have a lowest bleed. Yeah, it's dangerous. Make his head swell and fall off. <laughs> and explode. <laughs> it happens at the end anyway, so... Well, the world for that. Sports, so it doesn't matter about his head. So it would shorten the film and make it more entertaining. So hold on, what they're talking about here is... Uh, who died? In the... Like, someone... The family never drowned? Oh, we're supposed to be watching the movie, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Air Falls remembers why he's getting paid. <laughs> Air Falls was like, I wasn't reading G Arcade on the app. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a uh, this isn't the only movie we'll say this about. This is a very confused movie. Like, who's this for? This is too. This too much kind of gravitas and. It's gritty. It's. It's real, it's about real families. But it and... also seems like it's written by an eight-year-old. <laughs> like, well, an all of the main characters like, are eight years film? old. This isn't going to please the kids. This isn't worthy enough drama of an adult's attention. I mean, it might be its ambition in a way. It's quite... It's trying to be two things at once. Yeah, it's... But it's it not doing I, fun it's not film about doing games, the video games very yes. well. The yeah. thing is, you, you think like this could be a fun kid adventure, but it's it's a bit nasty for that. As I say, there's there's like muggins, no one's getting along, and I know there has to be conflict, but that's such a cutting line right there. Your attitude sucks. <laughs> wow. You can steal that one. My heart. Sense. Don't steal that. I want to use that. <laughs> oh God. Oh. Well, it breaks for this kid. He's got these two teens around him, though. Like... Jimmy, you're too good for them. Brad's out on your own, man. You don't need them. This... That oh, guy looks like a pedo, turn. doesn't he? <laughs> the silence was deafening. He looks like a massive creep. Uh, I mean, he is playing. Uh, not Peter, but a creep, yeah. Uh, Jesus! Does he think he's badass? Like, just, there's no adult fear like the punishment of arrest. Or... I haven't seen a single police officer for the last 48 minutes. Uh, well, there was the one earlier, like, in the uh, bar. And, uh, no. Does that count? They didn't do much. Why is he after them in, after the kids anyway? Money. He's gonna make like ten dollars or something. Well, he was hired to do this, but then there's he's there's spending more money on oh. all of the 
petrol that he's spending. Well, it was really cheap back then, never mind. I just... Road rage. <laughs> God, what a movie will go to to have conflict? Oh, uh, no, no, this is actual conflict right here. It's embarrassing as well, it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling pretty embarrassed. Oh, that, that old guy there is not... That him. guy's having the time of his life. This is the most <laughs> exciting thing that's happened to him for, like, decades, I bet. Parents, I want to see this. Like, you, you ever see that game City Connection on there? It's like the car platformer, like what you were saying earlier. Like, never in the field to be a game. I wanted that to be a game. <laughs> I think they ran out of swear words. Mm. Well, no, they could have just said, damn, he fucked the car. Mm. Then I don't again, they're allowed to say I'll... anymore. What is the rating in this? I don't oh. remember. I think it might have been a... It's got to be PG, P PG. Well, they said shit, but I think that was allowed in PG back then. Yeah. They said shit, they said ass. I remember now. Uh, the biggest little city in the world, is that what I said? I didn't see a tidy. This is so charming right now, all of these charming little... Look at all these places no kids should be allowed anywhere near. Well, I haven't shown a strip club yet, so it's not too bad. <laughs> Keep looking, there's probably one somewhere. <laughs> Spanky the trucker. <laughs> this movie has a weird kind of moon logic way of how things work. Like, how does a teenage girl come to give a trucker? Pointers on the, you know, um, knowing how, uh, knowing how casinos operate, I'm expecting them to get beat up by some thugs in a second. <laughs> it wouldn't be our place in this movie. <laughs> it's been well, too long goofy music in the background, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's only been half a minute since something horribly unpleasant happened. There, let's get that in. <laughs> I swear that. So okay, hold on. We're we're 50, over fifty minutes into this. Yeah, it's drowning on quite a bit, isn't it? How, no, but how many game? What games have we seen? Then we've seen. Double right, we've seen uh, Ninja Double Turtles. Dragon, Ninja Gaiden, Ninja uh, Rad Gaiden, Racer, yeah. a couple of other arcade games. Are they really Dino good? Wash. Yeah. I remember those long nights of playing Dino Wash as a kid. Hmm. Ten. Spanky, this I, I don't think this is this isn't right, man. <laughs> oh, we got the Nintendo uh, hotline. Yeah, this is exactly how Nintendo hotlines operated, right? <laughs> <laughs> Might be. I, I I don't know who I mean. Uh... Have you ever called them? I haven't, because no, no, I didn't even dream of asking my parents to do. I was so hardcore in my gaming that I would go out and play. <laughs> With my actual oh, friends. Just gonna figure it out. Ah, cost you soon. Simon's quest was terrible. Um, it's flawed, really flawed. But oh, ghosts and ghosts. Oh no, ghosts and goblins. I think. Oh. Mm. No, 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 this ghosts and ghosts. You know, that was the first game I ever played. Ghosts and goblins. You're kidding. Well, wow. great start, right? Jesus Christ, yeah, just pretty right in the deep end, yeah. <laughs> what, was that the arcades, or...? Um, actually, no, it was the Atari ST version. Ooh, uh, that was, that one's got great music, right? It's got bleepy bloopy music, yeah. No, but I think bleepy it's like... Bloopy. <laughs> not like Chris Hill's name, it's like one of the... I want all these games, I don't remember these games being in the arcade. 
No, no they can't use actual arcade fucking games. Fucking level. Well, it's uh, the Place Choice Ten uh, campus where you kind of demo Mega Man. Mega Man, I love that. Oh, they didn't show oh, Mega Man of it. Two. China Gate. Such a sweet fucking game was Mega Man Two. I played that I know, once. You should yeah. check out the streams, guys, on YouTube. <laughs> A little bit of a plug there. Oh, sweet. Well, it's not appropriate to have plugs in this movie because there's nothing product placement about that. There's no product placement at all in this movie. None at all. <laughs> Apart oh, from for Dino Wash. Metroid would be weird in an arcade context. You wouldn't really got RC Pro AM. Contra? Contra. Oh, Pro Botector is known over yeah, here. Well, I guess it was called Grizzler in the arcades. Yeah, I've just got a weird history of that over here. Yeah, Why did they phone really... in the hotline? I thought the kid was a genius and just could do games. Well, they're, they're trying to get familiar with every game, aren't they? Is that still the first thing you got? To be honest, I, I think I agree with Jasm. I mean, this kid is a natural pro at video games, but how are you supposed to know about the tornado in Simon's Quest? <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of uh, arbitrary. Yeah, but here. some of these games they they fall in about are just simple platformers and stuff. I see oh, this racing game. Yeah. Games, like. <laughs> Give me some tips. All right, hold down the accelerator button. <laughs> Please, that's not a Nintendo game though. That one. I'm surprised that one keeps making it in. Uh, it's probably the closest thing they could get the rights for. Yeah. Yeah, they should have went for um, Ridge Racer instead. <laughs> Oh, look, we're getting more. Um... In case you didn't know, this guy makes money off of kids. <laughs> Just letting you know again. He was hired. He said to shit again, kid. didn't he? When shit! Yeah. The language in this game is worse than in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> this is so much more PG 13 than Mortal Kombat was. <laughs> Oh, I love that eyebrow, sense. yeah. It feels like someone had like a string and they were pulling it just off camera. You know, the, you know what he reminds me of? Remember in Raids of the Lost Ark, like the glass, the glasses wearing their nuts? Oh yeah. Like the really slimy one. He, he's got that level of sliminess on him. Mm. It, it's... Oh like boy. It's, I can tell you're not meant to like him, but... No. Just so happened to come across the belly, uh... Oh, yeah. Weeds landscaping. Weeds landscaping. <laughs> oh, God, this guy's crazy. How many actual likable characters do we have in this movie? Like, everyone is so awful. Well, there's that one kid that wants to go to California. Yep, that's it. <laughs> oh, we got Lucas. No, Lucas is lovable. Everyone loves Lucas. Oh, yeah. He's so bad. For the... For the... He's so bad. For the wrong reasons, but yeah. Uh... <laughs> oh, can we... Can we stop with the adults grabbing... Okay, he's like a younger adult. Oh no, it's only it's only goofy when the adults do it. When the kids do it, then it's serious. So much pent up aggression in this. What's up with that sapling in the back of their car? <laughs> Maybe they're planning on planting it for the job, in... and then they've thought, fuck it, we're going to look for the kids instead. Maybe they should plant it in Los Angeles. Well, I know, I want some. Then again, I've right never now. seen weed look like that. Do you a lish <laughs> plant? That's quite big. Okay, so they've dropped Rampage, which is getting a movie this year. Not to chaos, yeah, it's which... Dwayne The Rock Johnson, isn't it? I, I, you know uh, what, I'm gonna what bet the fuck? He's not even a monster. Why is he in it? <laughs> Unless well, that, that's I don't know. They're not, not selling that on the game, surely, because who cares about rampage in 2018? <laughs> like on a large scale, anyway. Oh, that's that's 
soup. Oh, we're supposed to be laughing right now. Ha 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 ha, look how goofy that is. Weren't you just wearing them? Well, it wasn't goofy when he was wearing them. They made it to Reno. Yeah, it does seem the biggest little city in the world. <laughs> I'm oh, right. check out that sign in the background. Never mind the dog, beware of owner. That's. You should get that, Pets. Uh, with a gun? Like in a hand? Just... Yeah. Like, Basically, like, the like... dog will bark, I will fucking shoot you. <laughs> so enough. American. I want that in my Nintendo movie. Well, this the word so you want someone to say, hey, this. don't worry about the dog. All the adults in this movie are the most unpleasant imaginable, yeah. <laughs> It's impossibly reprehensible. <laughs> the editing is just so like, okay, now it's this scene. Now it's this scene. It's just plots along this. I don't know, I'm not impressed by this. <laughs> As a video I game movie, it fails to deliver. As a movie, from a it fails to a deliver. Movie that everyone's derided from nearly 30 years ago. I'm not entirely sure what the uh, director was trying to do with this movie. I, again, I think it's admirable. I don't think the like, director was fucking sure what he was trying to do with this movie. <laughs> he went on to do a lot of uh, stuff with Malcolm in the Middle, which is, you know, a well regarded. Yeah, I love Malcolm in the Middle. It's kind of, um, I mean, how much, like, it, uh, uh, right? if, there we go, we get a perfect. <laughs> well, wow, follow it with that. Great, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we get a pervy bum shot. This is the grossest then... thing I've ever seen. Wow. There you go, you got a pervy bum shot with the old guy now, he's turned around. <laughs> they're, f they're really holding on to that shot right there. Oh, stop grabbing kids! Jesus Christ, moving. <laughs> this is. Oh, Jesus, he's called an autistic kid a brainless. <laughs> Guys, this movie's reprehensible. I, I, I'm gonna like boycott this. I'm gonna demand like no one ever buys it. So, what the hell is this? I'm I'm actually quite disturbed right now. Just the concept of like, don't give us this like is, this is kidnapping. I mean, I know he's gonna <laughs> bring him back to his parents, but. Okay, was that a better fight scene than what we had in Mortal Kombat? Yeah, I like, like that fight scene. No, I wouldn't say it was a better fight scene. No, you can right, criticise no, Mortal Kombat for a lot of things. You can criticise his fight scene, oh, but wait, that wait, was not a better a... fight scene than Mortal Kombat. You, you guys hear that, right? <laughs> you touched my breast! Did I mention this movie's What's breast? Uh, no, no, that's not <laughs> takeaway. You sick fuck, that's not your takeaway. I've <laughs> got a 14 year old, like, actress or how old she was. Jesus Christ. Like, it's, I mean, it works. They got him away by her. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it's. Ah. Uh... There's just something you wouldn't expect that. Like, that scene. You would scream something like, "Oh my god, he's trying to steal it!" Not, "Oh my, oh my god, he just felt." Yeah. Me okay. So what we gather from this, it's absolutely fine to kidnap kids. That's fine. You know, it's goofy. It's fun. The police won't do anything about it. There's no consequences for anything in this, as well. No. Uh, you know what? That that guy's not going to stay in prison or anything for what he did. Sorry. He's right back in the next scene. I bet. This is such a, oh yeah, studio mandate, we need to get a Nez in this somehow. Past the River Devil. Okay, he's playing... What's he, play he playing? I he think was... that he was playing Zelda. He was playing Zelda uh, 2. Ah, Zelda 2, playing... yeah, Zelda 2 he was. He was talking about like a River Devil getting the key. They obviously didn't have the rights to Zelda 2, so they couldn't show any footage of it. No, it was Zelda 2, that was what he was playing. Yeah. He was, in a, he was in a town. Like, he wasn't doing any River Devil shit, or... Well, you know how exciting that one scene with the girl that takes you into her house to heal you? Oh, is that what he, he must have been to? playing that part, that's, yeah. That's why he didn't want to stop it. Yeah. That's why he was so sweaty. This is what Teresa said. It's already uncomfortable in that.
Do I be good to if one of them pushed the other off the roof? <laughs> that wouldn't be the most mean spirited thing that has happened in this, so sure, no, it wouldn't. <laughs> well, to be fair, that was that one kidnapping, right? Well, that's the thing, like, this scene has gone on long enough without, like, a kid being grabbed by an adult. Like, why, why is not? Let's get that back again. That horribly unpleasant uncomfortable. <laughs> I didn't expect this to disgust me so much. <laughs> it's a product of its time. Back I then it was funny I to be kidnapped, know. yeah? It is... I think this is meant to be a sensitive scene, guys, and you're just chatting away. Oh, right, it's yeah. Supposed to be tearing um... up or something. <laughs> we're, we're supposed to be invested in the plot at this point. We're an hour into it. Pens, you don't sound fully assured than that. So I'm sure. <laughs> Zelda. They said Zelda again. It's a video game. Who? No, he doesn't have to find Zelda. <laughs> so wait, the, analogy... the Adventures of Link. Why is that so? <laughs> Okay, he's young, so I'll give him credit, but... Has Link... he ever played an adventure of Link? Link finding... Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, right. A perfect reaction. Ha uh... <laughs> <laughs> ha, he insinuated... What? 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 How did- what? This is not how people work! God damn it, if I'd known it was that easy to get a girl to kiss me when I was oh, younger- just, just, just call was... them lesbians oh, and said, not hey, kiss you, yeah. You were lesbian, yeah, just... give me a kiss! <laughs> the homelessness to the legend of Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> this really feels like it's written by an alien species who has done what they can to study like That's the thing, it's like, good. did the director do a bad job, or did the person who actually done the writing for the, the film itself do the work the bad job? And the, the answer is yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> good answer. I just... This is staggering to me, like, you're a kid and you... Like, I keep going back to this, but you go in to see the Nintendo movie, and you just get so much unpleasant family... So, fun. you're getting, like... Assault, kidnapping, and just general unpleasantness. Homelessness, like disputes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Another kidnapping? You know, I don't even care at this point. Oh, God. Why doesn't he just unlock the door and get out? Because <laughs> it's not made with a pad. He only oh, knows right, how to work yeah. computer games. Well, video games. Arcade games specifically. You like cut to him looking at the door handle and it morphs into an NES controller. <laughs> as long as he doesn't have to use a power glove. Oh god. Yeah, man, there's a lot of like oh yeah, remember that thing from several like thirty minutes ago? To be honest, I I know I I know I, why is she with them? What is going on? I think they were saying just now. <laughs> she's, but... she's going to get her friends. She just said. It's almost. Like she's got the thing. entire box set. <laughs> I don't think that's what she meant. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm honest, if I don't think that's. Hey, he's trying the door. Yeah, now, yeah. Look, guys. He's sitting down and he isn't saying anything. This is the... Oh, oh no. Oh, I'm so grossed out right now. It's just... Oh, is she getting her... Her Why friends are trucks. <laughs> just something Autobots transform and roll yeah, out. <laughs> Where's the trailer going to go? Where's Prime's trailer going to go? <laughs> Is that was that really a screamy moment? Those trucks were there the whole time. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh no, he's being kettled. 
They know he's a Decepticon sympathizer. <laughs> Hey, Spanky! Is that the is that the joke Guys. for the movie? <laughs> <laughs> so you touched her breast, huh? That's not your cutesy little like. Ah, ah, ah. No, stop that! Ah, I'm ah, sorry, he... I'm not being funny, but the the that who you touching her breast thing is the only thing that's made me laugh because it's well, so absurd. Well, I, I liked like... that sign with the please, with it, Reno or bust please, that's funny. You know, he, that reaction to hearing that this man just sexually assaulted this kid, and he just got punched in the eye once. I, I can't keep up with all the crimes in this, like he stole this rig, as, he stole this truck as well. Oh like, uh, no. Uh, this is such a well, hijinks, like, crime, like... Those wacky people doing wacky things. To be fair, there doesn't seem to be any consequences in this film, so just do anything. Oh, there you was want. that one consequence. Well, I got punched in the eye for something he in... didn't do. Yeah, <laughs> that's all he got, though. So like, basically, that's... if you do something bad, it's okay. But if you accuse of something bad that you didn't do, <laughs> you're fucked. You know, you know what? Spank is alright. Hmm. That's a success. Cool, yeah. oh, it's Charlie um... Chapman. Wait, Andy it... Panda. Oh, is that is Andy like... Panda? It's um, Mickey Mouse, but a without panda. Disney's approval. Uh, right. Oh, hard on Elijah Wood is coming up here soon, right? Oh boy! You, you guys know about this? Oh, wait, wait. There's a. Not James Woods, Jimmy Woods. Here we go. That's the hyphen answer. Oh. Oh wait, no, that is right. The Jagai done. Yeah, yeah. No, he's got that right. Oh, sorry. Uh... This guy is the scariest character so far, I think. I mean, that's the best performance in the movie, to be honest. Oh, that was the only scene he had, so he had to give it all he got. Yeah, bless him. He's uh... a yeah. four stars. That's an overachieving extra, right there. <laughs> overachieving extras is going to be a theme, I think, for yeah. these movies. Overachieving extra, underachieving film. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bet. <laughs> Cry in the box. <laughs> there he is. Lucas, how is Lucas. your shirt loud of um, just... It's a crowd. <laughs> it's play it loud. It's like a fight pit, isn't it? It's like a fight pit. <laughs> kind of is. yeah, it's just, it's kind it's of like a... Mortal Kombat. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> I need a drink. Yeah, this looks gross. I don't want to be. I don't want to be a video on a and it looks. <laughs> looks like dimly lit. It probably smells like like bio really badly. Or like a convention, I guess. I wonder who it is. It can't be Lucas, could it? <laughs> I refuse to believe that was ever a fashionable look. Ha uh, uh, that's like P. Does that even work? Because like if you whistle like that implies you're pissing all over that implies you're beating like you're decimating them out game. Yeah. Um, I don't think that works. It's just funny because it's P, that's the only thing. L Lucas come back here, explain. To be what. fair, he is a kid. <laughs> He's not going to have like the sharpest wit. Maybe I'm holding them to too high standards on that. I don't know, mm. I need to get something out of this one. <laughs> One thing I want to know is this. This was before. Get your little bottoms up here, gross! Uh -oh. oh my god! God, yeah, I just saw that. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> this movie is incredibly reprehensible. Not everything has to be sexualized, guys. He said, "Get your little bottoms up to up here to kids." So what? Coaches smack the kids' asses. Well, look at his face. Look at his ball. face. He's he's enjoying the view he has right now. Oh. This movie's sick. Yeah. I don't know which is worse, the film or you two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're pretty awful. We're retroactively boycotting. Wait, did they give him a black eye while he was wearing his glasses? 
Oh, and the glasses are absolutely fine. Yeah, no cracks at all. You know, no, the one the one lens with the black eye is fucked. Oh, yeah, is it? I got the shape see. and everything. I know about the lens, but the rest of it's fucked. Hmm. I do like how much Ninja Gaiden there is in this movie. I was about to say, what's he sitting on? Then I remembered he's got his lunchbox I, thing. I, I just realised, okay, hold on. Uh, an hour, 14, 40 minutes into this, the first positive thing I've said is, I like that there's Ninja Gaiden in this. Hmm. There you go, I said something nice. <laughs> Ooh, Mario, uh... We haven't seen... Okay, though, no, we've seen Mario 2. We haven't seen Mario 1 yet, have we? Nope. I mean, they, they got to save Mario 3 for the end, haven't they? Super Mario Brothers! 3! Oh, yeah, that was way... Yeah. Way before Mario had a voice. Hmm. In games. He, he still sort of like a graph Italian at this point, didn't they? Based on the cartoons. Yeah. Hey, Luigi! <laughs> that kind <laughs> of voice. You know, the first time Mario had a voice in a video game was actually Mario Teaches Typing in like 1992. What was his voice like in that? Um, well, Charles Martinet did the second voice, but he had an original voice in that game. We know who technically the first person to voice Mario ever was, right? It was uh, Peter Cullen, Optimus Prime. Oh, yeah. In the <laughs> Donkey Kong arcade cartoon tie-in, I believe. Did, like he sound like, when... did he sound like Optimus Prime? <laughs> I hope so. I mean, I you know, all... this guy's sweat could cure um, California's drought overnight. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> right. We've watched Street Fighter, but my memory's fuzzy on that, even though we only watched it two weeks ago. And we're going to yeah. watch Mario Brothers next week. Mm -hmm. Can any of you answer me, is sweat a theme in video game movies? Because <laughs> Mortal um, Kombat, I think it's just... a lot of people are sweaty. I, I think it's just what... Yeah, I, I'm going to go with that. Sweat is a theme, like getting... Well, the, the Mario movie, you'll feel sweaty and gross watching because it's utterly repugnant. Like, there's so much fungus in that movie. And yeah, so it's so damn the case, original. In that case, there is sweat, but it's on the audience members. Uh, Peds, um, after we do these four movies, can we watch something a bit less sweaty, please? <laughs> yeah, I said to Jazz when I was talking to him about films we're watching, and I did say we watch any type of film except for porn. <laughs> okay, good. It's gonna make us watch WrestleMania. Like, just keep the sweat going. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> I just okay, gonna see I if there's think... a long view, okay, a long Elijah play Woods, video of sweating. Uh, on... Where is he? Yeah, on the left, Elijah Woods. There he is. Wow. Gonna... No, sorry, not Elijah Woods, Toby Maguire. Toby Elijah Maguire. Woods Back to the yeah. Future 2. Oh, God, that's it. Toby Maguire there, yeah. Little mullet Spider Man. Apparently a bit of a hardcore poker player. Uh, looks like he doesn't know what's going on, bless him. How old do you reckon he is, though? He's like 12, maybe? Stop eating! Wait, wait okay, hold on, hold on. Like, I, I haven't really paid attention because this movie's shit, but like, why are the parents there? He told them where they were going, so they turned up, even though it's like, oh, I'll get him beforehand. Yeah, like, did they get a clue that they were here? Like, they, I, I'm asking genuinely, like, I might have missed I will I ask the question, was how the fuck did they get there so fast when it took them nearly a whole film to get I, to where they're going? I think what I'm trying to say is, can I peg this movie down for having a huge contrivance, or was that actually fair enough? You know what? Whatever caused this plot, I don't care. <laughs> oh, look, a British flag in the background. Anyone feeling patriotic? No, there's no whale in the British flag. Fuck the British flag. <laughs> I don't know who shot to get a Nintendo movie from this era because our games were slower and bordered because of 50 hertz. Yeah. But bad um, memories. <laughs> though we did have the best Commodore 64 games and stuff. Mm, and the better looking snares compared to America. And Mega Drive yeah. is the Genesis. Mega Drive is a really cool game, but in America, Genesis is a really cool game name too. Yeah, no, no, I like it as well. Mega Drive's better. Yeah, it's better for us. We would not have got well with Genesis as a name. 
Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of the band either. <laughs> or, or, or the book of the Bible. <laughs> Is that one of the books of the Bible? I don't know. I think it's the first one. In the New Testament, old. Old. It's with Adam and Eve. Isn't that uh, also right. like what Christopher Lloyd's character wants in one of the Star Trek movies? That like, probably. There's a clip of him like going gentle. Shouldn't we be excited right now? This is the big action scene of the entire movie. No, this movie's shit. Let's keep talking about Christopher Lloyd. <laughs> okay, come. On. Okay, so hold on. This is clearly a universal plugin. Yeah, this is the Universal uh, Studios um, this makes it look park. So nightmarish. Why don't they go here? It's they supposed like... to be exciting, like you know, that's the actual King Kong, and you're on a ride. Oh, like you got like the guy there, so like just have fun, <laughs> damn it! Like I swear it. Sit down and have fun, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine, like on this ride right now? There's something a bit like you know, you want Willy Wonka right now singing, don't you? <laughs> Like earlier, you had the mascot characters as well, like harassing them. It's like, were you the, like Nintendo and Universal? Were they happy with this? I don't know. Did they sell Nintendos? Did they sell? Like, this is the introduction to... to Mario Brothers Three. Spoilers, I know. Oh my God, there's a third Mario game. Anyway. I'm guessing that this probably did not too bad because people were like, oh my God. They're going to show Super Mario Bros. 3 for like one of the first times ever, if not the first. We're going to see this film. And then was... people watched it and thought, oh my god, I'm going to kill myself. So they killed themselves and the sales went down for Super Mario Bros. 3. Uh-huh. And I'm genuinely serious. I'm genuinely serious. It's just incredibly boring. Yeah, but it's... this is the problem. When you got a boring film, that there's not much to it's worse than having a film that's really bad or really good because there's just nothing to say about it other than, eh. See, the thing is, I... Okay, so I think there's more to say about this than Mortal Kombat. I don't know which is technically... No, Mortal Kombat's probably technically better than this, but Mortal Kombat is... Like, this attempts a plot, and it's actually... Right, right. Yeah. Like, there's... The, there's Mortal Kombat attempting had a plot. It, it was simple. People fight, people die. This is... I don't know what it is. <laughs> Good point, Pads. <laughs> hey, look, it's Lucas Buttface. Okay, so they got kind of a ticking time sort of thing here. Where... Oh, God, these are kids being cornered. I just... <laughs> Fuck me, man. This is just... Ugh. What's with his voice? Oh, <laughs> get oh. your dirty hands off her! The host grabbed her arms, he grabbed her pigtails, fuck it, oh. Guys, Someone not, report this to the police. Not Jimmy oh, they Savile. won't do anything. Calm down. <laughs> doesn't mean it's not reprehensible. Oh, look at his face as he's chasing the kids. This, this is the grossest thing I've ever seen. See, Wait. that guy is worse than the guy grabbing the girl's pigtails. He touched uh, her breasts. Well, he, he touched he, her breasts! He doesn't seem to understand what an elevator is, so he's uh, <laughs> struggling a bit. Were elevators new in the 80s? <laughs> I don't know I like this guy. This guy's uh, charismatic. Even when he says his name, it's gross. <laughs> wow, Lucas is such an asshole. Smug oh. little bitch. Oh, here we go. Wake up from your nap, audience members. I wonder if he's behind the door. Oh, no, it won't be like that. He's just going... To hell or something. I love it to like, it comes up and there's like Dr. Jack and Mr. Hyde on the ass. There he is! Hey. Oh, look how angry he is. Wow. <laughs> I was so worried he was going to grab his ass as well. <laughs> 
I don't, it's like, I feel like the video the appropriate touch for the girl there. Like, this host is like, he's really acting the hell out of this person. Me as well. Uh, <gasps> it's time. Uh, See, I like how they used to call it Super Mario Brothers until Charles Martin they started going Mario instead of exactly. Mario, like every fucker else. And now <laughs> Americans say Mario America, instead of Mario. Say Mario now, yeah. It's I weird. wanted to contract this guy to like do like Super Mario Galaxy Odyssey. For, like I wanted to do all the modern ones. <laughs> so that's the little school tracker mechanism. It's. Wait, is this the video game? Okay? <laughs> no. There we go. <laughs> Look at this guy. It's like Steve Ballmer getting excited about yeah, developers. He's totally Steve Ballmer, like losing this shit at the Microsoft conference, isn't he? Come on, Bimmy. <laughs> Aren't you that adult who's been making a horrible ass of himself the past two yeah. months? <laughs> uh, watch the mushroom? What? Yeah, you don't want to touch those mushrooms. They're bad. I think he's thinking of the wrong kind of mushroom. It's not Mario the Lost Levels. They're not poison mushrooms. They're not poison, no. <laughs> what about mushrooms are you guys What the about? hell is up with that guy? <laughs> It's just the map screen. I feel like Mortal Kombat was like, there was a lot of overacting and underacting. This is, I think this is There's plenty of acting with a massive range of over and under. And yeah. What I'm noticing with this is that the acting is getting more and more over as time goes by. Mm. But it fits here, I suppose. Like it's, uh... it's, it's kind of interesting how this movie inspired the Nintendo World Championships, though. Yeah, so like that that's kind of interesting me is like a chicken and the egg thing. It's like, did that come first or No, the Nintendo World Champions came after this and it was no, inspired like 90, by it. Wasn't it? Yeah, like but was it inspired by this or were they gonna do that anyway or Uh I I'm pretty sure it's inspired by it, like It's hard to imagine that Nintendo would have put something on like this without a big movie or something like that to advertise the fact that mm. it could happen. Mm. Ha! You didn't know about the warp pipe whistle. <laughs> yeah. That girl's shirt says, "Who will survive?" on the back. The thing is, is he knows about the warp whistle. Spoilers. But the game hadn't come out, so falling that hotline number that wouldn't have given him any tips. Mm. No. Think. Yeah. He's obviously just naturally knows about video games. Maybe he had correspondence in Japan because it came out like a, over a year earlier in Japan. <laughs> Oh, is that how it works? Yeah. <laughs> this really doesn't work as like as a climax. As a, they all try. It's on it, World so. One. They all try it. Is another but... term you can use instead of climax when we're talking about film with kids in it? Uh... <laughs> hey, don't turn that on. That. Hey, you no think comment. everyone who touches a child is a pedo? He, did, so. he touched her breast pads. Oh, yeah, he looks Jesus. like a pedo, that guy does. I said that myself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, say so the finale, like the conflict coming to a close, like the climactic. Oh, no. Went to climax again. I mean, to be fair, this is. It is good they are trying to make the game kind of the focus of the. Uh... Yeah. It it doesn't work. Though. I think it actually shows the this second warp whistle in this, which is the one you didn't know about, Jasmine. Oh, this one, yeah. Yeah. Classic tick and time bomb. Is Jimmy's uh, mouth shrinking? <laughs> <laughs> How does she know that? Uh, it's the tornado from uh, Simon's Quest. Yeah. Uh, from what I remember, I don't think you get any extra points for using the wall to... Yeah, sure. Probably a lot of kids like playing Mario 3 might have learned that from this. Yeah. 
I mean, this movie's got no other use as like entertainment. You might as well make it a FAQ. Well, well, unless you're entertained by a guy touching a girl's breast, there's nothing to do with this movie whatsoever. <laughs> I I like, I, like... It's not funny, a guy touching a girl's breast. That isn't funny. I thought it was funny the fact that she used it twice to get him one trucked out of place God, and you... then beaten. Yeah. I'm so glad you got that out there, Peds. Indeed, that is not funny. <laughs> No, no, that's not how that works. Yes, it is. You just saw. <laughs> Epilepsy warning. <laughs> Check out that guy in the background with the shades. Did you see that? No, I didn't. What was he doing? He just standing there looking he cool. He was just staring with his mouth closed, like... <laughs> Would you rather him stay with his mouth open? In shock. No, oh my he, god, he, little Jimmy won! Like yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah, you go. Yeah. He's smiling. That's what it's all about. It's a coming of age story, really. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, look. Well, what have they learned on this journey? That but she is a lesbian. Going to the back of a she will lie your tits off to get her own way. He yeah. can be very aggressive to a child who seems to have autism, and he loves video games and winning is everything to him. And California. <laughs> and it's like the fuck out of everywhere if you need to get anywhere. And also the tree looks a bit more naked than it did earlier. It has travelled across the entire country, though. Mm, that's true. Have you seen that woman since the start of this movie? Uh... Yeah, she was in the beginning saying, Oh, my little boy, he's gone missing. I don't know what accent I just did. Well, she wasn't wrong. No, oh, I know she wasn't wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and then she come back to say, shut up, guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is where the... I forget which family member? No, dinosaur. <laughs> Wait, where's he go? Maybe he thinks he's being kidnapped again. No, why has he got pins like on the back of his shirt? With it's it? from I where they know. had the numbers on the back. He never They're took taken them out. They just <laughs> ripped the number. Take this off, man. This is gonna itch. <laughs> and I wonder if this is the song again. "California Rescue Me" is based on. Because California is mm. all about saving him. Yeah. Oh, what do you think he's going to see? A dinosaur? He's going into the dinosaur's tail. Maybe he's going to wax it. The twist is he's actually the kid in Jurassic Park. <laughs> and that girl is going to about to say, it's a Unix system. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Jenny's the girl who won't turn the tool shop. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Freddy Sa Fred Savage is dead weight. So he's like that. He, can be he went in that... What way do you think he went? And the curtain. It's a photo. <laughs> Just cuts to like, don't believe his lies. His teddy from a memento. <laughs> You already just took it off him. No, they... <laughs> I'm not going to comment on that, but... How did he not remember that? Isn't he like years older than him? I don't think it's that he didn't remember, it's just he didn't realise that his California was a dinosaur flag. Ah, oh, right. A dinosaur foot. Yeah, it's a bit of leg, eh? <laughs> bit of leg. <lag. laughs> 
<laughs> Sounds so That's sexual. Why they mind in the movie? Yeah. <laughs> Burlack and some weird violence <laughs> towards kids. <laughs> uh, now he's gonna gently grab his arm. Person, you. Don't do that on me. <laughs> I don't hug him. He he's an impossibly awful person. <laughs> But out of all of those people, who is the one that he should hug? The red no, girl. <laughs> give, give her something to do. She's not done anything this whole movie, the mom. Remember, that's her. That's his mom as well. Well, his other mom. I think I, was, I think it was like a sister they had that maybe died. It's they look really like a young confusing. girl in the photo, isn't they, it's right really now? Confusing family oh now. yeah, it might have been. Because I can't see it being her, because they just met her. Jimmy, whoa. They spelt weed wrong. They did, yeah. I wonder if they named them the Wood family just for wood landscaping, for some easy I thing I think they might have there. had the name first. I'm not sure, but I think they had the last name first before they decided what they would do for a child. Maybe. You, you never know what so, these people yeah, think. No. You know, um, actually, no, that does make sense, though, because people with the last name Baker tend to be more likely to become bakers when they're older. <laughs> Just give it to the pressure. Yeah. Um... And obviously, um, Lucas's last name is Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with that, like, what else was he going to become? What happened to any of these actors then, apart from um, Christian Slater? I don't think I know any of the others. There's a couple of unfortunate, like, I think the guy who played Lucas got... Jackie Vinson. I better be careful, but I think Lucas's actor got arrested for something pretty, like, in possession of somebody really shouldn't have had. For a... What, that girl's breast? <laughs> I need to clarify yet again. It's not funny touching a girl's breast. What was funny is the guy got fucked up because the girl lied about her. Hmm. Yeah, oh, people thinking funny. I'm a weirdo. God, what a weird ass movie. This is just... I I find it weird. Um, I'm not sure if I think it's a terrible, terrible movie. I think it but... is a bad movie simply because it's one. It's it's all over the place. It's just, ugh, it's so boring as well. It, it's a droney movie. It just goes on for too long without much happening. I like. I think you know what's usually a bad sign when you can just imagine the script being like, and then this happens, and then this happens. Like there's no kind of flow like that. that's exactly. And, the, what and then four so. truckers kettled this guy and punched him in the eye. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm sure they punched me the eye, but I'm sure the sound effect, it, there was uh, more hits than just one. They must hit him in the eye multiple times. Mm. And all he had was a tiny... Look, wait, wait, look, look, there's a credit for Power Glove Advisor. Oh. Well, they didn't I advise him I very don't... fucking well, because there was nothing <laughs> like the actual fucking game. The actual usage. Uh, yeah, that was work. just bad. <laughs> I wonder who done the hit in this film. <laughs> wait, wait, look, caterer. Mario's catering? Mario's catering? Wait, 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 oh, that's so LA. appropriate, yeah. Christine Kirby? <laughs> that's a coincidence. Oh, that, that it's a massive Kirby. coincidence, but that's pretty cool, yeah. yeah. Let's see if we can spot any other. Um... I can see another one, look, Dick. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the fill is, I think Mortal Kombat is technically better. It's a better ways. film, and I, to be but honest, I, I enjoyed think... it more. But this was more interesting, partly because it was just so baffling. Like, Mortal Kombat's almost too straightforward, which is kind of what it needed to be, but there's also not yeah, much to be honest, if Mortal Com Do you know what? If Mortal Kombat had this plot, it would be a very bad film. Then again... <laughs> well, I don't <laughs> disagree with that. If anything had this plot, it would be a bad film. <laughs> if this film had this plot, it would be a very bad Super film. Super Mario Bros. 3 appears by courtesy of Nintendo. Blah, blah, blah. P.S. Please don't associate that with this product. I'm deeply ashamed of it. <laughs> hmm. I, I, and, and with Street Fighter as well, I mean, we watched that a couple of weeks ago, and that's got a bit of an... I mean, 
of all of the movies we've, dropped, we've watched so far, I think Mortal Kombat's my favorite. This is mm. my least favorite. Yeah. I definitely I think, enjoy Street is, Fighter. But... I don't know, though, because Street Fighter is probably a worse film than this. But I think because right, it's so bad, what it's, it is, I think yeah. Street Fighter goes into the bad, good territory. It's so bad, it's good. Whereas this is just so bland and boring. And right, guys, we're playing this joke so straight. I think we can actually confuse people <laughs> of where we've actually seen Street Fighter. By the time we've seen it. Well, no, yeah, we're recording this before we watch Street Fighter, but oh, we have seen that first because that episode. Don't first. tell them. <laughs> it ruins the magic. Yeah, I'm sorry. They're not supposed to know. All right, so. That was the wizard. Yay. I I didn't see one big pointy hat in that film. <laughs> and there was no magic, no magic uh, at all. I was really disappointed. They did name drop the movie twice though. Once as the wizard and once as taking a whiz. Does that count? Yeah, I guess that. Hmm, that's a half name drop. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. I didn't like that movie at all and I no, I didn't see like it that because I it, it's one of those ones where like so if you're this invested in video game you know kind of retro game culture you didn't know of this film you know you know of the Mario 3 scene so I, I wanted to have eventually seen it yeah but it was a big pile of shit really <laughs> it was um, it was it's just it's, like I said more than anything it's, it's not exactly a good film in any regard but because of it's 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 a bad film, but it's also a very boring film for me, and I and I think that is why it's not as good as either Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat, or even Mario mm. Brothers, and that's a fucking terrible film. And we're going to be watching Mario Brothers next week, so uh, next I'm probably week going to probably... enjoy that more just because of how bad it is. It's like yeah. this is not quite bad enough to be bad. It's good. No, it's not. It's too. Too boring. Too like, boring, usually bad yeah. films that are bad are, are usually... You can laugh at them a lot, and I l did laugh once, and that was a, the guy walking out going, so you touched her breast, did you? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> it's like, why you was that again? Why don't you say he's kidnapped a kid? <laughs> yeah, because that's what he was actually doing. <laughs> but they didn't care about that part. Oh. Right, that was The Wizard. That was the wizard. And with that, we shall all say goodbye. See you next week, everyone. As I must passed out. Anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, that was the wizard. This is week three. And next week will be uh, the Mario Brothers movie. Hopefully Matt will be back for that one. And... Uh, after this, then it will be a little less regular, either fortnightly or monthly. We'll discuss that. Um, and yeah, hopefully you had fun. I had fun, yeah. sort of. <laughs> I, I kind of enjoyed myself. Yeah, yeah I'll I can, enjoy I, Mario Brothers more though. I, I enjoyed. I enjoy the, the the chat, but the film. The film's not good. No. One thing I will but... ask, and I and this will go to the to the people watching and listening as well, is. Um, are we going to just do bad films or are we actually going to do good films as well let us know there will uh, be a thread in, on G Arcade there will also be YouTube comments uh, you can also I don't know well, and, and also let us know how we're doing as well I'm really interested to know yeah, yeah. what you think of this series so far three episodes in yep three episodes in and it's only going to improve and, hope uh, so <laughs> yeah it's only going to improve <laughs> Do I have to put effort in? Oh no. <laughs> no we'd have to put effort in. We haven't done this so okay. far. We're not going to start now. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's wrap this up, guys. Yeah, catch you later. I shall see you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.